So in the egg industry in our country, when an egg hatches, there's a 50% chance for it to be a male and 50% chance for it to be a female. Female chicks grow up to become hens and hens lay eggs. Male chicks become roosters and roosters do not lay eggs. So what's the point of having a male chick in the egg industry? Think about it, they will actually eat more food than the females as they are larger and they won't even lay any eggs for me to make a profit off of them. Therefore, they are nothing but a loss to me. So the day that these chicks are born, they are segregated as you saw in the video based on their gender. And all the male chicks are taken and they are thrown into huge grinders where they are ground up alive. Or they are taken and put into huge containers that contain water where they are drowned or they're all dumped into huge garbage disposal bags and then thrown away like rubbish into the trash. Now just ask yourself for a moment, what wrong could these day one old babies have done to deserve this kind of treatment? We crush them, we suffocate them, we break their limbs, we rip off parts of their bodies, we drown them and we discard them as if their life means absolutely nothing when these animals have done no harm to us whatsoever. The only two mistakes that these babies made were one, they were born male and two, they were not born human, both of which they had no control over. And just to prove to you guys to what level of hypocrisy this is, imagine if right now in front of you guys, I placed a blender here and I put three live chicks inside. And I told the classroom, would any of you please come forward and hit this switch right now, hear these baby screams and just mush them into a thousand pieces, would you be able to do so? You probably cannot do so. Now, if I told you, hey, I'm willing to pay you 10,000 rupees if you come forward right now and put this switch on, surely, some among you might be like, hey, I'll take that money and I'll do so, but still, most of you, once again, cannot do so. In case someone did take the money and they did come right now and you heard those babies scream and you, that person is going to press the switch and you witness this happening in front of your eyes, you'd probably get up and stop that person. Now is where we have to think. We all have a brain, we're just not being consistent with it. Most of us cannot watch a video of animals being tortured and killed. If I asked you to kill an animal with your own hands, you wouldn't be able to do so. If I bribed you with money, you still couldn't kill an animal. And if you saw someone killing an animal in front of your own eyes, you would actually stop that person. Then the only question I can ask is, why are you not vegan? Because don't you get it? Every time you choose to buy meat, dairy, and eggs, you are not doing the killing. You are not getting any blood on your hands or on your clothes. But you are paying someone else to do the killing on your behalf. Not to mention in the egg industry, I'll have to say the male chicks were being killed like this. They are actually luckier compared to their sisters who are about to experience a far worse fate. A hot iron blade is used to cut off the tips of their sensitive beaks and toes, and then they are crammed into cages where they'll be forced to lay eggs for human beings for the rest of their miserable lives. Now you might ask me, why do they cut off their beaks and toes? It's because you see, when they're put in such cramped and confined cages, they tend to peck and claw at each other to get more space. Such pecking and clawing will lead to damage of flesh, Damage of flesh leads to an infection. Infection leads to death of a hen. Death of a hen leads to less egg production. Less egg production means a loss for the egg farmer. So in order to maximize his profit, the egg farmer cuts off their beaks and toes at birth, as you saw in the video. Just imagine for a second what this animal's body is going through. She is forced to go through menstrual cramps on a daily basis, or so that we can steal that one object that she will discharge from her body. In nature, in the wild, birds are supposed to lay around 15 or 20 eggs in a year. Here in the egg industry, we are making them lay almost one egg every single day. Did you know that they get rectal prolapse through laying eggs over and over again? It's called a cloaca. It's for birds and reptiles, it's just one hole where the urine comes from and where the menses come from. And this hole is damaged so much from repeatedly laying eggs that they begin to get infected. It's at this point when they become infected, weak, can no longer lay eggs and begin to lose their feathers, they are then sent to the slaughterhouse to be killed for their flesh. It's from birth to death, a life of pain and anguish. And this is why people like myself and many vegans the world over no longer eat eggs. Next the question is, what's wrong with milk and dairy?